Vadim. Arithmetic operators in C programming, this abbreviating expressions in C, we'll find it, for example, like it is in this short program. If we run it now, we'll find out the result is like exactly how they are explained over here. You see? Each of them, C plus, it is just only three, it is declared over here. C, that means three plus seven, because seven it is declared here, D, the same, D is the subtraction, it is five minus four, and also on. Thank you for watching. Hello, folks. In this very short video, I will show you how to print famous hello world 10 times, for example, using a loop. Let's go. We declare him it. Further in the loop, and now. Our The word and uh, voila. Hello, everybody. In this lecture, we we're talking about a little bit about the loop do while. We already know the loop, it is a block of statement that performs set of instructions inside the loops and um, this do while loop statement is also used for looping the syntax for writing writing this uh, statement it is i mentioned over here do statement semicolon And uh, while uh, while conditions, here the firstly statement inside body is executed. Then condition is checked. If the condition is true again, is true again. The loop is ex executed. And this process will continue till the conditions become false. There is uh, minor differences between while and the while loop. While loop test um, condition before executing any of the statement of loop. And the while loop test condition after having executed the statement at least one within the loop. And in this short program, we can test these explanations. And this is our uh, result using do while loop, which we checked at least once the the conditions thank you for watching and see you next time bye hello everybody In this video we'll talk about the break statement for the c programming the break statement is 
used mainly together with the switch statement. It is also useful for um, stopping a loop. We'll write a following program which introduces a break to exit from a while loop. Unless then zero curly brace say if um, equal equal with three close the parentheses now we have the statement break and we will print out Now we will use the printf function no. semicolon no. minus minus and let's play with our program this is our output thank you for watching see you next time bye hello everybody today we will talk about the unions a union allows us to store different data types in the same memory location it is like a structure because because it has members and uh, a union variable uses the same memory location for all its members and only one member can occupy the memory location and then following the uh, program i will show union declaration and the members can be any data type including the strings, the integer, double floats. A union declaration uses the keyword union. Let's say values, curly braces, Declaration number one, float number two, and we close our union with semicolon. After we declaring a union, we can declare union variables, which can even be assigned one union to another of the same type. Yeah. Values, let's say, A union values B. And now we can have access to the member of union variable by using the dot operator, which is, let's say, 24. Let's make a short comment over here. dot operator access 
member member of union and equals with a and now print and And the result have to be 24. Yeah, 24. Usually unions are used for memory management. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.